I have a just over one and a half pound slab of the big flake steak. Some Kikoman soy sauce. Liquid smoke. This stuff is the key. Natural mesquite. Cayenne pepper. Worshashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashash
okay? And this is gonna go all over. So just depending on what you're using, it just depends on how much you wanna use, because the general flavor will stay the same. But with the brown sugar, I like to coat it. And the reason why I like to do that is it helps keep that meat nice and wet, and it helps actually make those pieces nice and moist and easy to bite through, so you're not sitting and like jawing on a piece of beef jerky for 35 minutes. Um, I only have a little bit left, but this is about how much I would want to use anyway. And that is, I would say, probably mm, a quarter cup. There wasn't that much in there. Um, cayenne pepper. I do just a little bit because I do want just a little bit of heat. Just enough so that you can actually have it on the back end. It's not even hot, it just makes your mouth warm. <clears throat> Liquid smoke, the recipe king right here. Gotta have liquid smoke. Now, some people like it, some people don't like it, but this makes and breaks your jerky right here. This is a brand new bottle. This is about a pound and a half, and I'm gonna use it till about, I'm gonna use about a quarter of this bottle. Um, so if that is four ounces, we're gonna say we're gonna use a full ounce of that. And this is the key here, soy sauce. Soy sauce is where that salt is gonna get in there and it's gonna make this a completely different thing. Okay, and again, this is the rest, but I had about a half cup of soy sauce there. <clears throat> okay, so now, depending on who you are, family, who you're sharing with, it's up to you. I just washed my hands. I can wash them again, but this is all going to be hydrated. But I am gonna mix this in nice and even and as good as I can. Mix that in all around. Get this beef just soaking with this stuff. And what's going to happen, I'm going to put this actually in the refrigerator to marinate and sit <clears throat> for probably, now you see what happened is there's just, just enough to kind of cover all this beef. But I'm going to leave this to probably sit for about 5 to 10 hours at least. I like to usually let it sit for about 24 hours to 48 hours to be honest. Um, but for the magic of television and this YouTube, we're going to only do it for about 5 to 10 hours and we'll get back to that point. But So you want to make sure it's just nice and covered, everything is mixed together. All your pieces are covering the beef, right? <clears throat> and then, the magical part, bam, ding! Um, now, we can go ahead and put it into the refrigerator uh, with some plastic over it, and we're gonna leave it set, like I said, for 10 hours, hopefully. I'm going to try to get it out tonight so that I can put it in the oven and show that. But what we're going to do is we're going to use just a conventional oven, put it all the way down to its lowest temperature. Mine actually has a dehydrate setting. Most can get down to like 170. You're going to put it in at 170 for two to five hours, depending on how much you're doing and how you like your beef jerky. Um, you can do it longer. I would not do it any less. Um, Two hours is not where I do it. I like to put it in there for at least five um, every time. And mine has a dehydrate setting which is 150. So um, if you want to use a dehydrator, that's also an option. But I'm just saying for an actual oven, if you just want to use this, do it. You can. There's the recipe.